On December 30th, an excavation contractor was on the job to dig and pour footings for a new home. But the homeowner changed his mind and wanted a three-car garage instead of a two-car garage. That meant the trench would need to be 35 feet long, cut into a backfilled area. The next day, the contractor cut the trench with a mini excavator using a 24-inch wide bucket, expanding the trench from three to eight feet deep. The contractor had no written safety program and his Latino workers had minimal training in two months of work. They did not know a cubic yard of dirt weighs as much as a car. The contractor left to run errands and told the crew leader to take over and workers to stay out of the trench. Seeing the homeowner grow impatient, a 32-year-old worker asked the crew leader if he could go in to clear some dirt. The leader told him to go in, but come right out. The worker jumped in and walked to the deep end. The leader saw a crack form and yelled, but the wall collapsed, covering him completely. The contractor was back and talking to the homeowner when they heard the cries. As the homeowner called 911, the contractor ran to save his worker. When rescuers arrived, they immediately ordered everyone out and used trench plates to secure the walls. They removed four feet of dirt to retrieve the body. The worker was pronounced dead at the scene. This death could have been prevented. First, the employer should have had a competent person conduct daily inspections of excavations and adjacent areas and take measures to protect workers following OSHA regulations. Second, the employer should use adequate protective systems like a trench box or shoring. If sloping is used, the angle must be based on soil type as defined by OSHA. Third, the employer should develop and enforce a safety program and provide training in the worker's language. Fourth, employers should allow only qualified rescue personnel to enter the area for rescue operations, while they mean well, co-workers attempting rescue often become victims. This tragedy doesn't have to happen to you or your co-workers. Use what you've learned in this video, then you can go home safe.